Aloha, everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of InHomeComputerHelp.com, and I just made a house call to one of my senior citizen computer clients in Hawaii Kai. And it, it, I've got kind of a standard joke. People don't need, or sorry, people don't know why they need me until I get there and tell them why they need me. <laughs> Now, what happened was my uh, senior citizen client called me and asked me to come over and uh, optimize her computer. She obviously didn't use those exact words, but her computer was running slow. It was doing some funny things. So uh, I went over there, uh, removed unnecessary programs, removed tracking cookies and temporary Internet files, got rid of extensions in Google Chrome, a lot of stuff like that. And after that, I set up her printer for her, and she said something which changed what I did for her. What she said to me was, I'm going to have to start using a magnifying glass to see my screen. And I said, you don't have to do that. And she said, why not? I said, because you have a Rick. <laughs> That's me. So what I did was I made all of her text and icons on her computer, including, of course, her Internet browser, which was Google Chrome at my recommendation, larger. And I'm going to show you three different ways to make text and icons larger on your computer. So three different ways. Let's start with this one. This is why I'm on the Jamboard. So number one easiest way, uh, temporarily, this is a temporary fix, is to hold down your control key. This is obviously for Windows. Uh, Apple, use the command key, and this will still work. But use your control key, and then tap the plus key. Okay, whoop, sorry. So... Hold down the control key and begin tapping the plus key. And here's what happens. You hold down the control key and you begin tapping the plus key. And you can actually see on there, that's 125%, 150, 175, 200. Whoa. Uh-oh, you can see me bigger now. You see what I look like. <laughs> Call me anyway for computer lessons. All right. So now everything is just way too big. So now to make it smaller, once again, we hold down the control key. And instead of tapping the plus key, we obviously tap the minus key instead, right? So let's go on to this website again. Let's hold down the control key and tap the minus key. And there we are back to 100% once again. Okay. So another way to make your text and your icons and your images larger more permanently is right through the desktop settings themselves. So I always tell my in-home and remote computer tutoring students, Right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action. And that's proprietary depending on what you hold your mouse over. So right now we want to adjust the entire computer. So let's adjust the desktop and let's right mouse click for a menu. And then we're going to left mouse click for the action of adjusting display settings. And here they are right here. You could see 100%. So let's make this. 125 percent and you'll already see a difference you see how much bigger that got okay. and the same thing happens with the website okay now the control plus and control minus trick i showed you only works with an internet browser so like google chrome or something like that that will only work with google chrome Okay, so let's put that back. 
By the way, did you notice how that showed 100%? That's because that is now the normal for this because we made everything bigger. So let's go back to 100% though, which is where I like to have things. Okay. And I want to show you the third way of doing it. And it might be the easiest for most of you that have a mouse. But first, I'd like you to take a look at this. This is a book I wrote called The Big Plain English Computer Cell Phone and Tablet Help and Tipsy Book. And I wrote this, and it's absolutely chock full of tips on how to make your computer life a little bit easier, how to maintain your computer, uh, how to even how to clean, optimize your computer, and remove computer viruses as well, too. So it's definitely a book to download. It will keep your computer running fast, and it will save you time with all the little tips that you can find in that ebook. So if you enjoy this video and would like to support my efforts, obviously hire me for computer lessons, hire me for troubleshooting, and get my big plain English computer cell phone and tablet help and tips ebook. And you can do that right from that website. Okay. I am, by the way, a dual certified teacher from Illinois. It's not a question of me knowing something and now I teach it. I'm actually a trained teacher, a dual certified teacher from Illinois, a certified substitute teacher here in Honolulu, Hawaii, on regular demand, by the way, especially with the distance learning that we've just did because of my computer skills and my behavior management skills as well too so anyway let's get down to this third way i want to show you and i cannot show you how to do this on a screen but i can show you the results okay so let's go down here again and this is easiest to do with the mouse it can be do done by expanding your fingers out with a touchpad and holding down the control key, but I'm just going to assume you got a mouse and keep it easy. So hold down once again, hold down the control key of your keyboard and take your mouse wheel, that wheel right in the middle of your mouse that you normally use for scrolling and move that forward. And you see what happens when you move that forward? You see how much bigger things get? Okay, and then the same thing, if you move that scroll wheel backwards, then everything will get smaller as well. And you can make it really, really small. But let's see, I want to go about that size right there, I think. And that, that same technique, let's see, here we are. That same technique, works on your browser as well too. So if you want a more general way of, of doing that, uh, control key and then move the wheel of your mouse forward or backwards, depending on whether or not you want this larger or smaller. So that's it for your senior computer lesson today or for anybody else that may not have known that obviously. I got small business people that don't know some of these things. They're very good with the software that they use. Sorry about that. They're very good with the software that they use, but then as far as general computer use and maintenance and troubleshooting, that's when they call me to have them train them in things. So that's it. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day and enjoy your computer. You don't need glasses, at least not for the computer, because you have a Rick. <laughs>